Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 24 of Hit Elgato Sky. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started, and three, two, one, go. It's still cold in here, oh my god! Yes, go get your wife. We can wake up the king and queen. Okay, one other thing I wanted to say, continuing on, um, with the Pretty Cure movie coming out, I really really wish Crunchyroll because I want to talk to them right now that they would at least show something some preview ish we know because we're only in July we're about to be in August next month that already the promotion for this movie is very high and such so I mean there has to be previews. I'm guessing they're showing it in the other openings, especially when the show is airing in Japan. But of course, when it's in Crunchyroll's hands, they don't have those really nice special openings. And so it does make me wonder um, if there is, let's say, like a very new interesting opening. Uh, the only way I'm going to be able to see it um, is probably on Twitter. I was about to say Tumblr. Or... <laughs> um, at least maybe Instagram, maybe TikTok, or just, you know, at the end of the day, YouTube and such. Um, but it would be nice, like, just for this, just one time. And then, you know, at the same time, they could announce every other Pretty Cure series literally coming to Crunchyroll as well, even though I don't sub to Crunchyroll anymore because <laughs> too much. But so it would be nice. She immediately went to her Dang, it took that whole bottle. I mean, because, you know, they can still keep it for aesthetic purposes and stuff, because it's very gorgeous.
Like the chocobos? <laughs> well, you ride it like you ride a horse. Sora, what the heck? <laughs> the swish and everything was clearly a Monatsu reference. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here, you got this. You, you're making them nervous. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, she finally got on! Mm hmm but That's a Hummer. <laughs> yeah! The pretty kiss. You know, it's been a while since we heard leaks about Majesty. Are we going, like, are we getting this? Donuts are good. Donuts are good. Donuts are good.
Okay. Due to her powers, right? Now, see, now that kind of sounds like my girl, Kaguya. Kind of. Oh, oh.
necklace? The necklace. Oh, 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 oh my god, stop. Well, that was quick. Just once again, seeing them in this moment, or just any moment, it's just gonna make it even harder when they have to depart. That was so cute. 
And the fact that, you know, Machiro is the one to be in the ending because, of course, this aired on her birthday. That's so sweet. But still, oh my god, like, ugh. This, I don't know, in a weird way, this felt like the, like, final episode of more, more yeah, more or less the first half of this show for it. And, and, you know, it's weird to say that because we've never really truly had, um a pretty here season where it feels like this is now the end of one and then we're about to go on the beginning of a new. Usually it's kind of like that when the final care comes in. Um, but now since we're going into Elle being a child of destiny, I still think that is something to do with her becoming a pretty care. So hopefully in the next up and coming weeks, we do get more context on that. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, it is definitely her getting confirmed that she is the final hero of this. So she will be, we got our mid-season by Butterfly, but she will be like the finale cure possibly of this season. Which does make me wonder, after this show, going into the next season of pre Care, if they're going to do the same route like they did with this. Because once again, going into this, especially for the an anniversary and adding all these new things, they're testing grounds for how the audience reacts to everything. Like, anything that is good, bad, or indifferent, you're having everything, you know, first initial thoughts and everything when someone watches the episode, whether they're talking about the episode, they make a video about the episode, whatever. Let's take a question. Oh my god. <laughs> but as I was saying, it is a testing ground to be like, okay, what works? We can do that again for future seasons. What doesn't work? Let's try to this, bleh, let's try to steer clear of this and not try something like that again. So it, I wouldn't be mad if they were like, yeah, okay, here's our initial like let's say we have a group of 5 like freaking um kitty kitty. And then, of course, we get a six, and the six is more of a, instead of a mid-season, whoever that final cure is, she's the mid-season of the first five girls. He or she, whoever. And then the final cure doesn't come until, like, maybe getting closer and closer to the end of the series. But it would be a little weird because of the fact is you getting, well, not really, but if she's kind of, he, she is there at the same time with the other girls, and she, he, she gets established, like, from the get-go, then it would make sense. So I really do hope that going into the next season, especially establishing the characters before they officially become curious, that is continued. You did it with Delicious. You're continuing it again with this. Kind, You kind of did it with Tropical Ruse a little bit, as, but I really enjoyed how Hirogato is doing their characters, where it's like, once again, we had one episode or several episodes with just Sora and Mashido alone, but it was really Sora as our first pretty here. Then eventually Mashido comes in as Prism and it became, you know, Kira Sky and Kira Prism show. Then Tsubasa comes in and such. And then it became, you know, the, <laughs> the Sky, Prism, and Wing show. And then, you know, Agaha, she comes in, she gets hella development way before it's her time to finally become a cure and then she initially finally becomes a cure having l in that first episode and she's getting a lot of screen time in the amount of this show 24 episodes in is already giving her all this establishment and development so that by the time when it is her time officially to become a cure a lot of people will say well i really do enjoy what they did to her and how they did it and they're like this is something that we need to kind of take continuing on with Pretty Cure after this season. And I think, you know, probably when we do get to the end of this next year, that is probably going to be one of the biggest things that I definitely will say myself because it is one of the really good things that I, I think myself and a lot of people are taking from this particular season. So I again, comparing them to past seasons. But yeah, I'm, I'm just happy for her. Hopefully, you know, we get that like leak. I might have to start checking in because I haven't checked in like weeks. It feels like months now that I haven't since I last checked. So 
mm, maybe after I'm done recording my next show, I might check. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 24 of Hidogato Sky Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Saturday or Sunday for episode 25. Bye, guys.